All right, Shalom. First off, we give all praise to, to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rukar Kadash. All right, double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS. Salute to members to the leg, all the brothers across the four corners who are enduring in truth and sincerity and the women and children who follow. So uh, go ahead, my brother. So uh, this lesson is about discipline and uh, the definition of discipline in dictionary.com is uh, the practice of training people to obey rules or code to their behavior using punishment to correct disobedience. All right, I actually got the, uh, the etymology for you too. All right, this is a uh, discipline from uh, 1200. Penitential chastisement, punishment for the sake of correction from old French, uh, discipline or discipline or discipline, physical punishment, teaching, suffering, uh, martyrdom, and directly from Latin, disciplina, instruction giving, teaching, learning knowledge, also object of instruction, knowledge, science, uh, military discipline, uh, from disciples, pupil, student, or follower. It says, see disciple. Now, um, so our discipline is the discipline in the truth. When you're at a when you're at a martial arts place, they ask you, "What's your discipline?" And that basically means like, "What do you, what do you know? What is your what is your knowledge? Like, which martial art are you knowledgeable in?" What's your study? Well, yeah, what's what your, your study? What's your craft? Yeah, and our our study is 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 the truth under 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 the Lord. Now, uh, they said, "See disciple." And that's convenient because I was gonna say, uh, could you get disciple in in blue letter Bible, Bible Shah? You want disciple or you want discipline? Disciple. And uh, because uh, this discipline goes back to disciple, and we're all disciples. Um, we're all disciples in in, in the truth. Where we we're learners in in the truth. And and um. Uh, yeah, and discipline. Discipline. Uh, yeah, when it says the practice of training people to obey rules, um, the the Lord, the Lord get, gave us this truth, and the the truth is the rules that we're supposed to be following, and obeying. Yeah, this is a strong G three one zero one, uh, Mathetes. It says a learner, a pupil. Dis uh, disciple, right? A, a a learner or a pupil. Uh, we're being we're a learner. We're learners and pupils, in in the truth. Could you get, could you get uh, Luke fourteen, yeah, verse twenty six, Bible Show. This is a uh, Luke fourteen verse twenty six. It says, "If any man come to me, and hate not his father, and mother, and wife, and children, and brethren, and sisters, yea, and and his own life also." He cannot be my disciple. Right. If you're not, if you're not doing what you're supposed to do in in the truth, then you can't be the, the the Lord's disciple. If if you if you're still doing all the things that that people do in in in, in the world, then you can't be his disciple. You gotta you gotta obey his laws and his and, and his statutes. Uh, could you get uh, Matthew chapter ten verse twenty four? Doctor Shaw. This is Matthew chapter 10 and verse 24 it says, The disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. Right. Uh, and in the truth, the, the, this order, you can't, you can't, if you're, if you're at the bottom of, of, of the order, then you can't, you can't override what's at the top. The, the Lord is at the top and we're at the bottom. What he says what what what's, what he says in the Bible, everything that's in the Bible, we're supposed to follow because we're we're at the bottom in order. Um, you gotta you gotta precept. Yeah. This is the uh, First Corinthians chapter fourteen verse uh, forty. It says, "Let all things be done decently and in order." Right. They they go in the Bible right there. Let uh, everything be done decently and in order. You can't if 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 you're in class. And and your student and the teacher is teaching you stuff. You can't just you can't you can't tell the teacher what to do. The teacher 
is the teacher. If you're a student, you're supposed to be learning what the teacher is telling you. Uh, could you get Ephesians 4 and 21? Yeah, 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 give me a, I got a precept. Oh, uh, go ahead. This is uh, Job 36. I'll start at verse 9. It says, He showeth them their work and their transgressions that they have exceeded. He openeth also their ear to discipline and commandeth that they return from iniquity. So what he's saying is the Most High is going to open you to discipline, to, to stay on that certain path. Uh, like the brother was saying, what show, what show crafts that you study? We study the law, statutes, and commandments. That's our discipline. Right? That's the parameters that we are within. We don't go to the left. We don't go to the right. We stay within that discipline. That's how you know that you're righteous. That's how you know uh, you're on the right path to get salvation. And uh, I just want to get this word uh, discipline real quick. And it means, uh, it, well, here in the blue letter, uh, Strong's H4148, it says, uh, discipline, chastening, correction, uh, chastening. So it's not an easy thing, discipline. If this was easy, then everybody would be disciplined. You know, it, it's just, you know, it, it's simple. You know, discipline is a, is a tough thing. You got to, um, what's the word I want to use? You got to suffer yourself, man. You don't you're going to put yourself through something because if it was, all right, uh, you have to slack you. Um, <laughs> trying to put this in the, in the right words. If you have a goal, all right, you, you want to be somewhere, you want to get something, you have to show that discipline or right, you have to uh, purge off those bad habits in order to get there. Whether it's a, a workout goal, whether you got to save money, you got to deny yourself. That's what it mainly is. You got to stand without yourself. You got to stay under yourself, really, and be like, okay, look, I want to do this. I want to do that, but I got to go. If I do this, I got to do that. That's going to knock me off my path. That's what discipline is. All right, I know I want to you know, mess with Big Booty Keisha, but Big Booty Keisha got a man, so if I mess with Big Booty Keisha, that's going to knock me off my path. I can't do that. I need to stay disciplined. So it's, it's about doing the right things in the right situations because the most high is always going to give you a way out so if you just you know take that way out or just you know use every opportunity every experience as a learning experience okay and just um take more doves than you or get more doves than you take else because at the end of the day that's what's going to separate the discipline that's what's going to separate you from the rest because if you're disciplined and you getting you getting wins in certain certain situations that you would have gone off from, okay? If you if, if you're hungry and you know Burger King is right there, but the store is right there, and you can get some vegetables, you know, and you go get the vegetables instead of getting the Burger King, bam, you got a dub, you got a win, and you were disciplined. Huh. But if you go off and you get that Burger King, now you you off from your path. It's like it's like fasting. If, if if you want to do a three day fast and you in your house the whole time you got food the whole time that that you can go cook up right then and there, you gotta stay disciplined and just hold out un, un, until until that fast is over. Uh, could, could you get our verse twelve and twelve and one, Father Shaw? Yeah, yeah. I'm still holding that uh, Ephesians as well. Uh, Ephesians four and twenty one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Get get get, get that, that Ephesians. Yeah, get okay. that Ephesians. Ephesians, you said 4 and... 21. Ephesians 4 and 21. If so be that ye have heard heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Yahweh Shai, that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, which is after the most high, which after the most high is created in righteousness and in true holiness. Right. When before before you gain this truth, you're under the discipline of uh, of the world. Once you gain the knowledge of this truth, and once you get in here, you have to you have to practice a whole another discipline. The discipline that you once knew, that's out the window. Uh, you get that Proverbs, not Proverbs. Proverbs twelve and one, whoso loveth instruction. 
Love is knowledge. But he that hateth reproof is brutish. Right. If if you love instruction, if you love the discipline, then you're knowledgeable. If 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 we follow the discipline of um of the truth, then we have the knowledge of the truth. If if you're in the truth and you and you're not using discipline, then why are you even here? Because it, everything in the truth must be done uh, uh, under discipline. If if you if you if you're in the truth and you're not using discipline, then you, you're you're brutish. Can you, you can uh, yeah? Because Strong's H one one nine eight. It's a. Uh, but R. It says uh, brutishness, stupidity, brutish. Uh, properly, um, yes, yeah, st stupid, brutish, foolish. Come, huh. um, could you get Proverbs ten and seventeen? And it compares it to like a cattle. How like cattle are like hard head, you know? Like you gotta slap them on the sides and whatnot, and um, you know, keep them in line. Come, huh. you said Proverbs what now? Ten and seventeen. Proverbs ten and seventeen. He. He is in the way of life that keepeth instruction, but he that refuse that refuseth reproof erreth. Right. If you if if you in the truth and you not you not using discipline, then you going off. You you not you not you're not following what 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 the Lord with His commandments. And if you're not following His commandments, then then you have to suffer His punishments. Back 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 to the back to the um, dictionary dot com definition of discipline. It says the practice of training people to obey rules or codes or behavior using punishment to correct disobedience. When you when you when you're going off in the truth, the Lord is gonna punish you with it could be any type of punishment all the way up to all the way up to death, depending on how much you're going off. Yeah, it could be something simple, you know. You can, you know, go off on something small and then, you know, you catch a flat tire. Or, you know, yeah, 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 your battery go dead, or just anything simple, man. Huh. You know, it doesn't always have to be something major, but we will get corrected for all all those sins or whatnot. But that's why, you know, I'll read it one more time. It says, uh, "He is in the way of life that keepeth instruction." So if you in this in this discipline, okay, if you keep in the instructions, you are if you, if you listen to what your teachers, the apostles. <clears throat> like your, your elders, the older brothers. If you listen to everything that they're telling you, then you're gonna. You must love life. You must want to get out of this place. But if you're not, or right, you're refusing reproof, if you're refusing that correction, then you're Aaron. You're you're Arif, It says you're in error. You're, you're wrong. Okay. And that's like the brother said. It's gonna lead to correction. It's gonna lead to ultimately to death. All right, whether it be at the in that day in Jacob's trouble through a concentration camp, through through starving, martial law, the chip, you know, it could be anything. Come, come, well, you, you, you uh, did you have anything some? else? No. I'm, I so you know, like the brother was saying, stay disciplined, stay within the scriptures, and do what you need to do to get out this place. That's all. You, that's all we can ask of each other. All right, huh. is the you know. Stay within the parameters of the truth. Don't don't get high minded and and go off on what you think or what the next person think. Just go off of what the scriptures say. And with that being said, you know we give all praise this call law to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahusha by Hashem, Rakar Kadash, Double to the apostles and the elders of GMS, salutes and honors to the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are enduring in truth and sincerity, and the women and children who follow. Shalom. Shalom.